asking those who have caused this situation, do you realize now what you've done? Speaking nearly a month ago, President Vladimir Putin at the International Economic Forum in St. Petersburg, Russia, warned the group of international journalists there repeatedly that Europe, the United States, and Russia were drifting towards full-scale war. We know year by year what's going to happen, and they know we know. It's only you that they tell these fables and you buy it and spread it to the citizens of your countries. Your people do not feel a sense of the impending danger. This is what worries me. How do you not understand that the world is being pulled in an irreversible direction? That is the problem. But they pretend like nothing's going on. Uh, I don't even know how to get through to you people anymore. And the big news is, a month later, almost a month later, after we first reported on it, in mid-June, there has been almost no Western coverage of it at all. And that's exactly what Putin was getting at. Whether you love Putin or hate Putin, if the leader of Russia with thousands of intercontinental ballistic missiles and cruise missiles is telling the West, I don't know how to get through to you, your media is controlled, you're being manipulated, NATO is putting missiles on our borders. We're having to move missiles in. You've overthrown Ukraine. You're on an offensive. You're funding and protecting radical Islam. Do you know what you've done? Do you know what you've done? As he said at the UN, destabilizing the Middle East. Why are you doing this? Where are the sound minds across the political spectrum who should be stopping this? Russia has three overseas military bases, you have hundreds. You have your spies inside our country trying to overthrow it. You have your CIA people trying to get into our embassies. You are at war with us. And the average American, the average European, the average Brit is not aware of this. Another threat that President Obama mentioned was ISIS. Well, who on earth armed them? Who helped to arm the Syrians that were fighting against Assad? Who created the necessary political climate that facilitated the situation? Who pushed for the delivery of arms to the area? Do you really not understand as to who is fighting in Syria? But the issue of a major world leader saying that we're moving to the brink of war and it's not in our news, that's the big story. It shows how incredibly controlled things are. Deutsche Bank, one of the biggest banks in the world, is plunging right now, much bigger than Lehman Brothers. If it continues, it'll make 2008 look tame in comparison. Elites are building armored fortresses and redoubts all over the world, admitting they believe collapse is coming. Governments are digging in. Russia is digging in. Our supposed government is collapsing our borders and bringing people in with diseases and ignoring the Supreme Court rulings. It seems an age of madness or megalomania is now upon us. We've seen great evil out of Russia. We've seen great evil out of Germany. We've seen incredible evil out of communist China. But America has had its problems as well. And now we see Europe and the United States and the whole Anglo-American establishment filled with hubris and arrogance, just violating domestic laws, persecuting the press, uh, leaking classified material and getting away with it. This is the stuff that collapses and major wars and calamities are made of. And most historians point out the parallels between the start of World War I and what we now see happening today, and the parallels with the start of World War II and the climate politically we see today. Even the Pentagon admits that we're probably witnessing one of the most unstable periods in human history right now. But Obama says, we've got the best economy ever and the world's the most stable it's ever been. As they do everything they can to push us into crisis. And it's not just the Democrats. They have their establishment Republican cohorts that are working with them. 
I have never been more concerned about what's happening on the planet today. And if we're able to raise the alarm, you the freedom lovers out there, the, the people that want to have a civilization, the people that don't want to have war, if we're able to come together, whether we be black, white, old, young, conservative, libertarian, Catholic, Muslim, whatever it is, we cannot continue to have these conflicts. We cannot continue to have this globalist crisis brand where they stir up the problems, exacerbate the crises, and then gain power out of it. Because all the money in the world is going to be worthless if we have a major nuclear war. And that's what the Russian foreign minister and many others say we're going towards. And Putin is now begging with the press to trigger some type of debate and, and, and saying, I can't believe how none of this gets through to the people of the West. Please spread this video far and wide and hopefully it will spur a debate that can cause some type of chain reaction that reverses our course or at least changes our course from assured Armageddon. 20 years ago, I would interview people like Nigel Farage, the head of UKIP, when they had a couple members of the British Parliament and a couple members of the EU Parliament. Now it's the fastest growing party in Europe. They just had the British exit the Brexit successfully. Nationalism and anti-globalism is rising. I have seen the power of the people when we take action. And sure, our elites are decadent. Sure, they're inbred. Sure, they're very, very narcissistic and disconnected. But they will pay attention when we, the people, force the issue. And we are forcing the issue on this, as well as many other issues going on here in the United States and around the world. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. If you're watching or listening to this transmission, you are the hope. You are the resistance. Last week, we pointed out the globalists have declared open season on free individuals and nations worldwide. When the British left the Euro, the globalists decided to go into high gear. They've now announced that Hillary won't be indicted no matter how many crimes she commits. It's time for us to take our matters into our own hands. The globalist warfare model is siege. It wants to make us dependent. It wants to cut off our economies. It wants to be able to set up a worldwide financial crisis where there are food shortages that are already happening in most parts of the world, where they basically bring us to our knees and where we capitulate to their demands. 